Unsecured loads are a common sight in Lawton where drivers transport things like trash or debris without covering or securing them. The issue recently found its way in front of city council. 7 News reporter Seth Marsicano spoke with city officials on potential solutions to keep the problem from growing. Seth? Taro, people driving through the city with unsecured loads can cause problems like litter or create dangerous conditions on the roadway. We constantly have people calling us about the city not looking good because of blowing trash. It's more than just litter. It's also a safety issue for life. But when we see the trash on the side of the roads, it makes our city look bad. And the citizens are spending $100,000 a year picking up trash just on this one stretch of 11th Street coming to the landfill. According to Jason Mansell, the solid waste superintendent, the landfill has given over 400 additional fees this year to people bringing in unsecured loads to dump. But a larger problem arises when a driver decides they don't want to pay the $30 fee and leaves with seemingly no consequences. If customers or residents choose to turn away from the city of Lawton uh, landfill, we're putting that uncontained dangerous load back on the roadway. It's putting any other people who travel the roadways in danger, not only coming to the landfill, but also returning to where it come from. This can lead to things like illegal dumping or unsecured items flying off the truck, potentially taking a life. And when it comes to enforcing those fees or holding the people accountable, Mansell says unless they drove onto the landfill scale, it's out of their hands. There's nothing I can do to ensure that resident or customer does not drive away. You know, we don't have a way to enforce that. We're not police officers. We're, we don't have the ability to write citations or fines or anything else. Officials with Lawton Police say these types of offenses aren't a priority for the department, so the city is left to search for other solutions. So our goal is prevention. That's our number one goal. But sometimes you can't prevent and you have to suppress. We're talking about thinking outside the box to come up with solutions to how to solve this problem. At the moment, Mansell says their main solution is to apply for a grant to get an environmental officer position, which would give the landfill more authority. I think it would be very beneficial. That position would have the ability to write citations and, and do things that we currently don't have the ability to perform. However, the city doesn't want to sit on the issue. I don't think the council's interested in waiting on waiting on a grant to be awarded before we act on this. I believe the council wants action and they want action now. The council is intent on having a clean city and addressing this problem. Officials with the landfill are expected to bring potential solutions at the next city council meeting. Reporting for 7 News, I'm Seth Marsicano.